please. No. Everything okay? Bertram, say no. Imagine saving people, Girl, taking them to your breast, please. and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little <coughs> tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. <coughs> oh, fuck it, he... <coughs> no, Bertram, 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 woof, woof. Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something, you will eat him. Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there. Sorry. Bertram. Easy, big... Uh. Bertram! Mean man! Ooh. Not nice! Ouchie! Hey, Bertram! Easy, boy! What are you waiting for? Slug him! You don't stop that! Mommy will give you a spanking! Bertram, get a whoopsie! Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But... <laughs> He's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promised. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Creep up on you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot. Then you'll get eaten. What a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary... If you carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <laughs> the ten percent who survived... They're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, I 
saw movement to the north of us. All into the west. All into the northwest there. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. We'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Oh, look. On that little beach. Boars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. <laughs> it's got it. Quick, quick. I must get this shot. We caught him. In the middle of his dinner. This is history making truly. Nature. In all its glory. And cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than, than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. A paddle steamer, huh? Now, why didn't we think of that? <laughs> yes. Yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah! Could you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. If we stop too long, locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Oh, he's awake! Quick! Jump in the boat! In, 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 in! Got him! What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me! I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. Head southeast, good man. We have a final spot to check. 17 feet, 19 feet, 21 feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a 12-foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't shame to this rowing fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us, especially with the big one. spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. There, in the channel. You see its head? Hooking up there. Line us up to it. You point, I'll shoot, old boy. Come on. Just a little turn, please. Turn. Turn. in repose, all as calm as the predator lurks. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, uh, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. That should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. Are they gonna be any good? Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop... jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. 
Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try.